I try to come up with a new idea that I could then do an unlimited amount of variations on that theme, but that it all is brought back to the original idea. For example, the Frosted Flakes box, cutting up a cereal box and putting it back together was the original idea. Then I've done over 700 original cereal boxes in the same way, but it really goes back to that initial idea. Are you ready to see the first cereal box ever? What? I thought it was so interesting that even though the Frosted Flakes box was cut into so many little pieces that you can still tell that it's a Frosted Flakes box. Can you? Yeah. Even if I cut it up in a different way, it's still the idea of cutting up the cover of a product into pieces and reworking that image. Oh, he has a better idea for me. He said I could just cut it up any way I want. True. The map of the USA was another breakthrough idea for me. It was inspired by the United States map painting by Jasper Johns. He made a beautiful painting that's almost an abstract painting of the map of the USA, but it's colors and some of the names of some of the states, I believe, are stenciled. Handwriting, I think, was too personal for him. My letters are also, you know, not my own handwriting, so I guess in that regard it's similar. But I had been making collages using letters and spelling out messages, things like the Gettysburg Address and other famous speeches and text. And then I just had this flash when I was looking at a map that the names of all the places on the map are geographically where they are. While I was making it, I really realized that this was one of my best ideas and it was really starting to look really cool, I thought. and I actually laid down most of the pieces before I glued anything down. So we have two cats, and one of my main goals is to keep my cats away from my work. You know, if anybody who has cats know that they know what you're about to do and, and they plop themselves down there. I think I put over 100 hours into it. And then since I've made the US map, I've done probably another 20 maps. I've done th two other versions of the United States. I've done a few states, a few counties, a few towns, and then I did the map of the world, which I did in 2020 during COVID. I always wanted to do the map of the world, but it was a very daunting project because spelling out every country in the world I knew was going to take a long time. Putting things into the composition, you know, hiding little secret messages makes it more interactive. You know, I was inspired by the caricature drawings of Al Hirschfeld, who was the New York Times cartoonist. You know, he would do amazing caricatures of famous celebrities with uh, black ink. And the thing about his work is that he would put his daughter's name, Nina, in his work. Whenever he signed his name, there was always a number next to it, which indicated how many Ninas were in the composition. So if it said Al Hirschfeld three, you would have to look very closely at the drawing and find them. And one of them might be in the person's hair, one of them might be on the pattern of their shirt, another might be somewhere in the wrinkles of or their beard or somewhere. Once people knew that, whenever they'd look at an Al Hirschfeld, besides seeing the uh, likeness to the celebrity that he was drawing, they would look for the Ninas. And so that's how I started putting my MAs in my work. And now people that know my work know to try to find it. And sometimes I do make it very difficult to find because that's more fun.